basic operations of mathematics can be performed on the whole numbers. These are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let's look at the properties of each of these operations. According to the closure property of addition, the sum of any two whole numbers is also a whole number. According to the commutative property of addition, the sum of two whole numbers remains unchanged even when the order is changed. When a zero is added to any whole number, the sum is the whole number itself. Zero is the identity element of addition. While adding more than two whole numbers, the order of associating the numbers does not affect the final sum. The process of subtraction is the inverse process of addition. All the properties that hold true for the process of addition may not hold true for the process of subtraction as well. Next, we will look at the properties of subtraction. Like natural numbers, when we subtract a smaller whole number from a larger one, the resultant is also a whole number. When we subtract two equal whole numbers, we get the whole number zero. When zero is subtracted from a whole number, the resultant is the number itself. The associative law of addition does not hold true in subtraction of whole numbers. The process of multiplication is repetitive addition. Multiplication of whole numbers is similar to multiplication of natural numbers. According to the closure property of multiplication, the product of any two whole numbers is also a whole number. In the multiplication process, the order of the whole numbers does not have an effect on the end result. The number 0 has a special property in relation to the multiplication process. When any whole number is multiplied with a 0, the result is always a 0. When any whole number is multiplied with the whole number 1, the result is always the whole number itself. The number 1 is the only whole number with this property. While multiplying more than two whole numbers, the order of associating the numbers does not have an impact on the final product. The distributive property in addition also holds true in the process of multiplication. The distributive law of multiplication also holds true over subtraction as displayed. The associative property helps us in simplifying calculations. We can simplify calculations by breaking the whole number to its nearest hundred. The process of multiplication is repetitive addition. Multiplication of whole numbers is similar. The operations of multiplication and division are inverses of each other. The closure property of addition and multiplication do not hold true in case of division. Division by zero is a meaningless operation. However, when a whole number divides a zero, the result is always a zero.